now we will move to the next section right <clears throat> which was this section with an icon and there will be an image an icon and the text okay the difference between this scrolling in text or marquee text animation was before it was only images right now we have an icon near the text so it is a bit different but the concept remained the same okay so i hope that makes sense to you so now let's see how we can make it so you will find all the codes in the description so you can copy paste them and for this text we need to copy this particular lines of text okay so now let's do it first of all let's come here and then i'll click on elements and i'll go to layout and we'll take one column layout here as a section right and then i'll click this section go to general and then we'll make it um, set we will make it no because we don't want a width here because the text will go in the whole screen right so that is the ultimate goal here then if you see we have a we have these things now, now for that you just need to copy all the text from top to bottom okay from top to bottom whatever you find until this div okay copy it and come here and then click on add elements then go to html liquid and drag it under the column then open code editor and paste the code here and click on done okay that is working well so if we see it is marquee and marquee content and if we see the above one one things we need to make sure that the class name or anything is not similar then there will be an issue so it is not similar so that is good now let's go back to that code and now let's take this this css codes here which will set the animation okay so i'll copy it uh, to the end and then go to again this custom code editor and make sure again the anything should not be similar unless there will be an issue it could be the uh, it could be the scrolling animation or anything here the animation name is mark you and here it was scroll so there is no link to both of them right mark you content mark you okay so so this is good now let's click on save and it is white so it is not showing so one thing here is if you see it is uh, it is black so we'll want to do what one things we need to fix here is item span we need to make it hash zero 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 okay we should make it black unless it will not work so i'll click on Control shift s to save it okay so now let's save it and see it in the live uh, preview so publish so if we click on live now we need to give the password so one two three four now if we scroll down uh, it is working right it is working but the icon is missing so i will explain why the icon is missing or how we can make it uh, look bolder right it is bold but these are not bold so that the way to make it bold is to go to this editor and then make it make it one of the thing is this span is um, make this font weight font weight 700 okay 700 and then also we need to make the font uh, family like font family should be poppins right so i'll copy that from here from the above title and go to custom code and find the span tag again here okay i'll paste it between and now it will look good so i'll click on Control shift s now one things left is the images or the icons whatever that is how we can add them so let's see so it is published so i'll click on refresh and now you can see the text has been bold now let's work with the icons these icons if we see these icons are svg icons if i am not mistaken and the text is uh, basically three Cruelty free, paraben free, vegan free, and clinically proven. Four. Quality, paraben, vegan, and clinically. And both of them are just. So I'll just right click on that and click on save as PNG. Quality free, paraben free, 
so i'll click on save vegan friendly vegan friendly okay and then clinically 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 proven okay i'll click on save so now like before uh, we need to go to our back end of our website and then go to contents and then go to files okay then go to files and upload those images click on upload and upload those icon as a png file if we are uploading them as a jpg this method will not work okay so make sure you upload them as a png so i hope that makes sense so this will take a little bit of time because the image size is pretty low okay so as you can see this is how it works so now we need to go back here in that code panel and click on edit open code editor okay open code editor this will work fine right then as you can see these are easy returns then 30 day money back guarantee easy returns and uk free delivery uk free delivery and after that what i will do i will just delete the rest of them because we will duplicate them later so i'll delete the rest of them until the last two div okay the last two div should be there okay that is perfect now let's work with them one by one first one is cruelty free so copy it and make the first text cruelty free right so let's make it quality free then go to the second one which is paraben free so copy it and go to the next one in place of this we should put it paraben free then go to the third one which is vegan friendly so copy it and go here and scroll down and make it vegan friendly okay and then clinically proven clinically proven so let's scroll down and then make free uk delivery and clinically proven okay 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 so that is good now if i click on done now text is perfect now let's fix the images issue so cruelty free i'll click on open code editor again and for this we need to just put the image source here as like before so i'll go here and for the quality field this is the image so i'll click on this copy link icon go back here and this image source i will just select it and in between those quotation mark i will press ctrl v to paste my copied link perfect let's go back to the next one which is vegan free i think right which is vegan free uh, which is a leaf icon which is a leaf icon okay let's copy it go in the next one cruelty free given now go to the paraben free okay paraben free what is this it is paraben free no 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 paraben free should be this icon so copy it and then come here and in between that paste it okay now we have vegan friendly so vegan friendly is this leaf icon so copy it and scroll down and let's make it vegan friendly okay let's paste it here perfect now we need another last one is clinically proven so copy it and go to the last one and then just select it in between the quotation mark and paste it then click done okay after that as you can see it is perfectly loading click on Control shift s first of all let's see how it is working then we'll just make a few copy of them like we did for the previous images okay so let's click on view live page and then if i scroll down it is working well it is working well it is working pretty well right and for the images if i scroll down uh, this is the color and for the images this is the uh, this is the height and we are controlling from so we can make it 30 and 30 pixel height with i think uh, that will be better what do you say it will look some little bit larger right so i'll click on Control shift s uh, let's click on it and go to open code editor and now let's duplicate them okay let's decrease the spacing a bit there is a lot of spacing coming on right so we need the last two dips so let's do the same here so okay so the marquee items will copy these marquee items marquee items marquee items until this okay Control c and then click enter Control v 
so another 4 8 another 4 12 another 4 16 so that will be perfect now click on done now click on Control shift s to publish the page so we are not doing that manually by clicking save in this area and then click publish this will require us to click two times but we are just making it live at a time okay so if i scroll down now you can see cruelty free paraben free vegan friendly clinically proven cruelty free paraben free vegan friendly clinically proven and goes on right but the spacing is bit bit large right so now let's do let's decrease that so click on that go to styling and i think why the spacing is so large because of the tabs right so let's click on it and let's decrease the padding from bottom also let's click this section and decrease the padding from top and for this and for this for this let's decrease the padding from bottom okay this will just decrease the um, the spacing a bit more okay let's click on Control shift s to publish it and this will be automatically mobile responsive so we don't have to worry about it okay perfect now let's delete uh, uh, close those windows so click view live page and now the spacing is looks good right not that much uh, like past uh, but this space speed are bit bit slower so we can control that by going to this code and i think uh, where we can control is this 15 second okay if we make it five second it becomes faster if we make it 25 second it becomes little bit slower so it is up to us how we want it to be showed so 25 i think much better than 15 was 15 was bit faster the less it is the faster it will become okay so this section is also what completed we needed 12 minutes or so to make this section completed now let's get back to the next section which is a real results real people right uh, testimonial section where we have a slider we have a slider of the customers who have achieved some results before and after with this product okay and that is the uh, real testimonial section which will convert more people to purchase that product and now we'll see how we can design something very similar to it in the next part of the video